Hi everybody, Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me um, because I'm gonna show you my next Timu haul, or this is half of it anyway. Uh, it's not the whole thing, but we'll do the, the rest of it um, another day. So welcome in everybody. If you're brand new, welcome. I hope you like the content. And if you are returning, welcome back. I so greatly appreciate it. Um, if you enjoy the content or if you've been watching for a while, if you just click on this little red button down here that says subscribe, um, I would be ever so grateful for that. That will really, really, really help my channel. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, let's dive in, okay? Um, got a little bit of sun today. I've got, um, it rained a little bit yesterday, but the weather's better, I think. So, okay, let me show you something first, and then I'm going to have an ask of you guys. If I can find it in here, hang on a second. I'm digging around looking for it. There it is. It's in the bottom of the bag. Okay. So everybody knows that I go thrifting with my sister every Saturday, because she's a, a reseller, so we find all kinds of great stuff for her, and she and I are really close. In fact, she just lives down the street from me. I can walk to her house. Um, and uh, she is absolutely amazing. And I got this for her. And it says to my sister, no matter where we go, no matter what we do, you will always have me and I will have you. Love you forever. And it stands up like this, you know. So I'm going to put it up against the white so that you can see it. Anyway, um, I love her with my whole heart, and this is where my ass comes for you guys. You know, my family has been hit with um, a lot of medical issues. My one family member who wanted to be um, her name not to go out, you know, she's battling breast cancer right now. And um, my sister just had her mammogram done, and she got the results, and they found something. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's cancer, but it means she has to go through additional testing, but, um, it's still really scary, right? Hasn't heard back from the doctor what the testing is. It could be an ultrasound. It might be an MRI. I don't know. It's going to be something. Um, and we'll know more, but she wanted me to ask for prayers and positive thoughts. Um, and she's so funny. She says, um, I want them to know my name so that when they pray that the Lord's going to know who it is, even though I know that he's going to know who it is anyway. But I thought that was really, really cute. So her name is Bev or Beverly. Um, so if you will please keep her in your prayers and positive thoughts and vibes if you don't do prayers, um, that this test, whatever the secondary test is, that it comes out normal and that she's okay because it's doubly scary right now because our other family member, um, you know, is going through cancer treatment. So that's my ask for my YouTube family, my YouTube friends. I know we always come together. We always support each other. So that's my ask for you guys. Okay. All right. So as I'm tearing up in this, um, I'm going to move on to some diamond painting so I don't uh, sit here and cry, okay? So here we go. So that's my little thing for my sister, and I'll give that to her. Um, I don't know if she's watching this or not, but we will see. Oh, goodness, I need a Kleenex now. Told myself I wasn't going to cry. Okay. So um, here is my first one. Now, you guys probably know that I collect some of these really cute little animals. Um, I think these guys are so cute. I'm not quite certain how great it's going to come out because it's only a 30 by 30. And I'm not certain what they are. Are those like, is that like a flying squirrel? I don't know what kind of little animal it is, but I thought it was cute. It kind of goes along with, um, the ducks, you know, and the fish and the flamingos that I have. It, it just all goes with um, my cute little animal stuff. Um, again, I thought it was absolutely adorable. Again, 30 by 30. It might come out a little pixelated. I mean, it's looking better in the camera than it is with me looking at it. 
Um, but I'm not quite certain. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, and it's right on cue, guys. It's right on cue. I just had my dog out, literally. She was out about 15 minutes ago. Went potty, patrolled the yard, did all her things, and now she's standing by the door. Oh my gosh, she just knows, on cue. I'm on camera, I gotta open the door. Uh, I think you guys are just gonna get used to it. What can I say? Actually, that kind of made me laugh a little bit. So anyway, this little cutie is uh, 20 colors. Um, it's all in letters. We have the usual uh, toolkit, and then we're gonna have the colors, which you can see we're gonna have uh, yellows and some browns. It's kind of an orangey color. Oh, I love the purple, of course. So those are, oh, bright yellow, look at that. That must be the background. And then you can see all the colors in there. Okay, so there is that one. I'm gonna push that off to the side. And to go along with this, I've got kind of a, a collection of these little guys. Uh, let me get this one, hang on just a second. Get this one opened up. Oh, boy, I'm trying to get these papers off as hard. So this one is also a little 30 by 30. Really cute. Now, I'm not quite certain how we have a dolphin, or is that a porpoise, in like fresh water. So I guess this is just gonna be a little fantasy thing. And again, riding on his back. Again, I don't know, is it a squirrel? I, I, don't, I don't know what these little guys are. Um, if you know, tell me. I just thought they were cute because they're adorable. I gotta roll this backwards a little bit because it's, it's kind of stiff and I really can't flatten it out very well. Now remember, for people that are new to diamond painting, you can only roll backwards the canvas uh, if it's poured glue. If you have double-sided adhesive, don't roll it backwards because uh, you're gonna create rivers and um, create a lot of issues with it. So just kind of remember that, okay? Okay, so this one also has 20 colors. And again, I just thought it was really cute. Um, and these are all in letters. And I'm sorry, I didn't even show you like the drill filled. I didn't even show you anything on that. Um, my mind is not quite, quite there. But so give me a little bit of grace for that. Again, same toolkit. And I'm gonna give you the colors again. You know, we're gonna have the kind of a lavendery blue color. I have lots of greens. Of course, the browns for the little critters. Maybe that's what I'm gonna call them, little critters. You can see all the colors there. There you go, so there's that one. And I think I've got one more little critter. Let me find that one. Yep, I got one more little critter. Uh, this is a winter scene. Let me pull this one out. It's stuck on here. Again, I th just thought that they were really, really cute. Again, it's another 30 by 30. And look at these. I thought they were so cute. The little penguins ice skating. And we have a little polar bear. We roll this one backwards too a little bit so that I can straighten it out a little bit better. There we go, I think that might be a little bit better. Again, all since these are 30 by 30s, they're probably gonna be a little bit pixelated, um, but it's okay, they were just too stinking cute, I couldn't pass it up. 20 colors again, all letters, once again. And I'll bring this up so that you can see it. I don't know if it's gonna blur out. There we go. Uh, but I can see everything. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Um, I wish this was like either a true 30 by 30 
or maybe a 40 by 40 or even a 50 by 50 um, would be absolutely adorable. Really cute. I love it. I think my grandkids might like doing these. These are the kind of paintings that for me just kind of make me happy. You know, they're a little silly. Um, they're, you know, not my typical landscape floral type stuff. Um, and uh, like, I love the ducks. Like if you watch uh, Bella is a Marky, Her Life and Mine, Miss Linda just completed the ducks and they are adorable. They are adorable. You can also see them, oh, hang on a second, I need to show you the drills. You can see those uh, ducks if you go to my Facebook group, Diamonds by Tita. Um, yeah, come in and join the fun. We are having a lot of fun. This month, um, we're all doing paintings. That's called Gorgeous in Green. It's any painting or any craft that is in green has any green, doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be all green, just has to have some green. And next month uh, is Blissful Blue. So that is gonna be any painting that, or craft, that has uh, blue in it. And um, I'm taking votes in there right now for what May is gonna be. And the um, contenders for May are gonna be Outrageous Orange. Um, what was the other one? Passionate Purple, or there was Red, Radiant Red. So I'm taking votes for what color we're gonna do next month. So if you wanna come in, join the fun. Now this, this one kinda goes with the little critters. These are birds. And I thought of my mom when I saw these. She always liked just really cutesy kind of birds. And this just reminded me of her. Um, and I had to get it. Because it's blue, I mean, a lot of this. This could be blissful and blue. That could be blissful and blue. That could be blissful and blue because of blue. And even this one, look at this one. This little one that has just a tiny blue butterfly. And um, that could be it too. So come on over. I think we have about 730 people that have joined. And we have a lot of fun, no drama. I think I've told you that before. There we go. So this one also has 20 colors. Um, these are all in letters, once again. The drill field is real clear. I don't have any issues with any of that. I think it's gonna probably come out. Lots of confetti up through here. This will all be confetti. Um, this painting probably does have more confetti in it. And then let me show you the drills. I like the lavender one, that's pretty. Very pretty. So there's that one with the birds. All right, and I've got uh, two more. Okay, let me do this next one. This next is a part, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit my my camera holder. Um, this next one is a partial, it's a special drill, and you'll know why I got it when I open it up. Because look at the little kitten in the teacup. Oh my gosh, I thought it was so adorable. I am so into partials right now. Um, and special drills. Maybe we're going to have to have an event on the Facebook for uh, special drills. Um, I'll ask the group what they think. Although they certainly could do this. Um, I it might have a little, I don't know if that's going to be blue or not. Um, but anyway, we definitely can do partials in any of the events.
And I love the little heart diamond down there. That is just beautiful. I love it. Yeah, I really like this. This only has uh, eight um, different uh, drills on this. Again, it's a 30 by 30. I am gonna take the drills out of this because they always are so pretty and um, I have to let you see them. I don't show the regular drills um, for the most part, except if it's a premium painting. Um, but let's go ahead and show you, show you the drills here. Oh, look at that red. That's kind of a silvery color, a little brownish color, I got black. Oh, look at the little hearts. I have never seen heart ones, I don't think. Oh, now those are really, really cute. And then we have the gold. And then we have the marquee in kind of a, kind of a reddish color, I think. But it has hints of golds and greens and blues in it. Really, really pretty. Love that one. Love it, love it, love it. And, oh, one more. One more. And I'm going to bring you in because this is a small one. Okay, my friend um, Jack over at Diamond Painting with Jack, if you haven't seen her channel, she is a lot of fun. Um, she loves Hello Kitty. And I think she's kind of gotten me into Hello Kitty. I'm in a Hello Kitty mode. And this is just a really cute, it's a little 20 by 20 um, Hello Kitty. Has 10 colors, super cute for spring. Um, I just thought it was adorable holding her little envelope with a heart on it. Um, again, it has that. I'm gonna show you the colors. We got some purple. And there's, of course, the black for her eyes and everything. We're going to have pink. You can see the pink hiding in there. If I can get my camera in focus. Come on. There we go. So you can see it all. Very pretty. So that is that one. So that is all I have for you guys today in my first haul. Or my first a part of the order. So there's my Hello Kitty. There's my kitty in the little teacup, which I thought was so adorable. I love that one. That won't take long at all to do. Yeah, that'll be done really quick. And I got the really cute birds. That's from my mom. She would have liked that a lot. And then my critters. These are my critters. I love them. Again, I don't know, hamster, squirrel, I don't know what they are. I love them though. They're critters. That's what I'm calling them. They're my critters. And again, this one, again, we have a, we've got a dolphin or something that obviously is in fresh water, um, really actually wouldn't live there. So it's a little bit of a fantasy thing, but, um, again, they're cute. How can you not be happy looking at them? And then the last one is the penguins in the winter scene and the polar bear, um, ice skating. Really, really cute. I love it. So um, that is all that I have for you guys today. Oh, I forgot this one. forgot the most important one. Hang on so you can see it. That's for my sister. Bev, if you're watching, I love you. I hope she watches my videos. I think she does sometime. Uh, and again, if you can just remember to keep her in your prayers and positive thoughts and vibes, I will be so, so grateful to you guys. Um, Take care, everybody. Have a great day or evening or whatever time zone that you are in. Um, and I will bring bringing you more uh, videos coming soon. I mean, Easter's coming. Um, this will video will be showing on Saturday, the day before Easter. Um, I will try to have a video up on Easter Day. I can't promise it, but I'm going to try. Um, and again, I will have more content coming for you. Thanks so much, everybody. You take care. Bye-bye. Oh, and I forgot. Oh, my gosh, my brain. Where's my brain? Remember, you're perfect exactly as you are. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for. All right, now I can say goodbye.
Bye-bye.